Hello everybody, welcome to the Good News with Samaria, where I choose to share the good news with you, which is the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now today, I will be talking to you all about one of my favorite topics, which is that five letter word, faith. See, faith is something we all struggle with on a daily basis. We, ha we all have unanswered questions. We all have asked God for things that have not seemed to happen yet. We all are expecting some things from God. And we're, and we're all like, well, God, where are you? Are you even here? Are you even around? Can you hear me, God? And see, all those questions all rely on your faith. See, you might be asking, what is faith? Well, according to Hebrews 11.1, 1, now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So you have to trust and believe that God is going to do those things for you, even though you don't see it. Even though you don't know when it's going to happen, how it's going to happen, or if it's going to happen, you have to trust and believe that God is going to do it, even though you can't see it. Now, see, I have this metaphor that helps me better understand how faith works. And I'm going to give you that metaphor today to help you understand how faith works so you can unleash those promises that God has for you. See, we all familiar with the vehicle, whether it's a car, an airplane, a motorcycle, all those vehicles, no matter what it is, takes fuel to move. So God represents that vehicle. And your faith is the fuel that moves God. So if your tank is empty, you can't go nowhere. You're not going to move anywhere. The same with God. If you have no faith, there's no way God is going to move. See, according to Hebrews 11.6, without faith, it is impossible to please him. Because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. See, without faith, it's impossible to please God. Impossible. Meaning there's no way, there's no way, no how, no shape or form to please God without faith. So in order for those things to work in your life, in order for those questions to be answered, in order for him to hear your prayers and, and move on them, you have to have faith. You have to fill up on faith. Just like you have to put gas in your car, fill up, fill up your car to go anywhere, you have to fill up your spirit on faith. See, even if you have a little bit, all it takes is a little and God will move. Just like your vehicle. You, you don't have to fill it all the way up, but if you just put a little fuel up in there, you'll get somewhere. You might not go as far as you want to go, but it'll get things started. It will get things moving towards what you need and towards where you're trying to go. See, faith as small as a mustard seed. <laughs> as, far, as small as a mustard seed will move a mountain. See, according to Matthew 17, 20, he replied, because you have so little faith, truly I tell you, if you have faith so small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. See, if it's, if you, even if you have a little faith, you can make things happen. But see, God is a great God. He's a big God, so he expects us to have great faith, big faith. Yeah, it only takes a little, but we serve our awesome and great big God, so he expects our faith to be great and big. So faith is that key. When you, you want the promises of God to fulfill and flow over your life, then you have to fill up on faith. Even if you starve it a little bit, even if you start with a little bit, that's a start to get you moving, to get things to start bubbling up and working in your life. But you got to keep going and keep filling up on faith because it's so easy to doubt. It's so easy to get, get crammed up and slammed up with all these things that we go through on, in this life that, tr that test our faith constantly. But I'm going to tell you where to go 
to fill up on faith, where you keep going when it gets weary, when it gets, when it feels like it's too hard, when you don't understand, there's somewhere you can go to fill up on faith and grow your faith and strengthen your faith so the promises of God will just keep flowing and overflowing in your life and that and so that your prayers can get answers and things can start turning around for you. Things can start happening for you. I got the key for you. Faith is the key, but I'm going to tell you where to go. We're going back to that metaphor, the, the vehicle, the fuel, faith being the fuel and the vehicle being God. Now we, we mentioned going to the pump to keep putting gas in your car so you can keep moving and depending on how much gas you put in, it's going to depend on how far you go. That's just like faith. Just, just like faith. Depending on how much you keep getting, it's going to depend on wh where God is, how God is going to move, how fast he's going to move, and where he's going to take you. But you got to keep filling up on faith. Just like you got to keep putting gas in your car to keep moving. So what represents the gas pump? Because you got to go somewhere to get it, to get filled back up. The word of God. The word of God is the gas pump where you keep going to get filled up, get your faith strengthened and keep getting your food for your spirit. Because that's where the faith is. That's where faith comes from. Hmm. God is good. God is so good. See, according to Romans 10, 17, consequently, faith comes by hearing and hearing of the word of God. That's your answer. That's how faith comes. I told you that fuel pump represents that word of God. You got to keep going to the word. Keep hearing and hearing of the word. And that's how faith comes. That's how your faith grows. You got to keep going back to what he said. You got to keep being obedient, going to his word, reading his word, listening to, he, what, to what he tell you. Feed, feeding your ears, feeding your spirit with his promises. That's how you get you, grow your faith. That's how you keep filling up on your faith. You got to keep reading his word. You got to keep hearing it and hearing it and then applying it to your life. Applying it to your life. That's how your faith grows. That's how you get that's how you build your trust in your relationship with God. That's 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 what pleases him. When you trust him and believe him and keep going to his word and obeying him. Then once you keep doing that, that's when he rewards you. It say he he earnestly rewards those who seek him. So that's how you get your reward. Seeking him is going to his word. Communicating with him. Being obedient. That's seeking him. That's longing for him. That pleases him. It's your faith. Your faith is the key. That's the fuel. That's the fuel to make the vehicle go. The vehicle is God. So you want those things to happen. You got to fill up on faith. You got to fill up on faith. So let's read. Let's review what we talked about. Let's review this metaphor because this is just awesome. This is this is your life. This is the key to to God overflowing His promises and blessings over your life. It's your faith. Even when it starts to get hard, even when stuff just start coming from any direction, that word, that word is going to strengthen you and get you through. That word is going to activate your faith and keep it growing and keep it coming. So that you can soar. So that God can keep moving, on, keep moving on your behalf. Thank you, Jesus. Now remember, God is the vehicle. Faith is the fuel to make God move. The gas pump is the Holy Spirit, the Word, the Word of God, His Word, the Bible. That's where you go to get filled up on faith. That's where you go to fill your spirit. Your spirit represents the tank, the fuel tank. Because if it's on empty, you can't go nowhere. If you don't have no faith, it's impossible. It's impossible for God to move. So you got to keep going to that word of God, that fuel pump, to keep filling up on, on that gas so God can move in your life. So he can move, and those prayers and those things you've been asking God for will happen. Because his word never comes back void. He will do what he said he will do, but you have to believe and trust that he will do it. By filling up on your faith. Now that's the message for today. I hope, I hope you've been encouraged. I hope that will help you build your faith and grow your faith. So that you can receive the promises that God has for your life. Now remember, I will be uploading a message for you every week. So I hope you come back. 
And I remember, God loves you, and I love you too. See you next time.